Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you a brand new feature of Windows 8.1 that's called the reading list. Um, this is a nice feature actually that is added to our Windows 8.1 experience or the Windows experience. Um, the reading list is made to um, actually have a list of all the things that you will eventually want to uh, read or look at. and. Um, it works with different apps, uh, but not all of them. But the apps that will actually work with reading lists um, are quite nice. So if you have, uh, a, um, for example, an internet website article that you'd like to read later, um, you know, sometimes it's an article, so you don't want necessarily to bookmark or put in your favorites the article in question. Um, so you're thinking how can I keep track of my different um, uh, websites or articles I want to read um, if you have news websites you can also share and put it on the reading list for later so for example uh, if we look at it first thing you can do is well, let's, say, let's go to a website I'm um, going to um, a website for example computer world where I always um, go for tech news and uh, I see okay live today is a big Apple event okay I'd like to read that later all you have to do is go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen by swiping or going into the corners if you don't have a touch device and you click the share button and here you can click reading list click there and what it does it adds that feature so you just click add and there it closes down and you say, okay, I'll read that later. Uh, you might be on a uh, the Bing News app, for example, and there you uh, will see uh, an article that's interesting, and you want to learn more. So what you'll do is, okay, uh, remains recovered from Mission Plane, uh, Missoni Plane. So okay, I'd like to read this later on. Again, you'll go into the share, you'll go into the reading list, and so we'll add and so on. So all the different apps where you read stuff go into the share function in your charms bar and add it to the reading list for a uh, later reading. So later on you're thinking okay oh, I have all these articles that I've saved for later now I have time to read it. What can I do? Well all you have to do is go into your start menu click on the reading list. <coughs> Sorry. And here you will have your reading list for today. You'll have, I see here at the top I have remains recovered from Missoni Plane Bing News and you can click on it it's going to open the news in your Bing app, your Bing News app. Uh, the other one is the Internet Explorer article about the Apple event so all you have to do is click. It opens up the web page and what's cool is that it snaps the reading list on the left. So you can read the article. I say, okay, I read the article today, um, and I, I want to read now the um, other article about the uh, um, remains covered recovered from Missoni plane. So it stays on the left side in just one third of the screen. Lets you read it, and if you uh, want to change article or read something else, you just click on it. Uh, so it's a great way, it's uh, actually fun the way that it snaps there so that you can read your article, click on the next and continue with, without having to get out of the experience and going into the uh, start screen to get your reading list. And once it's finished you can just right click on any of these uh, events in the reading list and there's a little um, delete. So you just click delete, right click, delete, here you are now the reading list is empty so you can delete the ones that you've read keep the ones that you haven't read already so uh, I think reading list is a great feature and when it's finished you can just click on that little separation of the uh, snap feature and close and there you're back at full screen and uh, I think it's a great experience so uh, reading list available if you don't see it on your start screen then go into your search uh, function and just start typing reading and you'll see reading list show up and you can pin it to the start if you want. 
Now, uh, if you're in Windows 8, keep in mind that the reading list is a Windows 8.1 feature, so upgrade your machine if you haven't done already. So, a cool little way of uh, keeping articles for um, a later viewing. And uh, actually, I'll probably be using this feature a lot now. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think it's a cool feature. When I'm making these videos, for example, for Windows 8, uh, now I'll have a way of actually keeping all that information that I want to talk about uh, of uh, because you know I'll often see this information on some websites uh, or for apps and stuff and uh, I'll get all that news and just keep it in the reading list now so uh, great feature the reading list in Windows 8.1 uh, I think it's something that's very useful and um, easy, really easy to manage too. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You might uh, uh, enjoy our channel, so uh, you will, uh, of course, be informed when new videos are online. Uh, give us thumbs up if you like our videos also. And um, if you have any questions, comments, maybe a feature you'd like us to talk about or make a video of, let us know. We'll try to answer questions and if possible and make videos of uh, all those features that you might want to uh, learn more about and uh, hopefully uh, if you have that new Windows 8 machine or planning to buy one our videos will help you learn more and more um, of on how to use Windows 8 actually so thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye